Well, hello everybody, it's Bella here from Rachel Bella Crafts with our new collaboration for April. And it's called Show Some Style Junk Journaling 2023. And as I've just said, it's hosted by Rachel Bella Crafts. I'm Bella and Rachel has got her own channel on uh, Rachel Bella Crafts on YouTube. So now we've got a great lineup for you. I'm number three, as you can see, Bella's Crafty Studio down here. And I'll hold it up in case you want to take a screenshot of this. Because sometimes it's difficult to find it on, on the Facebook. But here it is anyway. So we've got Rachel has already gone and Edith has already gone. So if you've missed them, please go back and uh, check them out. Scrapbooking with me is Edith and Rachel Bella Crafts is Rachel. And now I'm on here today. So that's that. So take a screenshot of that if you want to before I remove it. And we'll get on with the show. Right, what have I got to show you? Lots and lots. So, we're talking about style today. All right, let me just make sure you're in the camera. There we go. And I've been busy the last uh, week or so making the covers for these journals that I'm making with some style, hopefully. And my uh, brief is going to be uh, Shabby Chic and vintage and can you spot the difference i hope so i hope so i've worked hard to try and get them to look totally different so as you've gathered this is a shabby chic and this is the vintage shabby chic is relatively new uh, apparently is it um been designed by some some people in the uk originally but it went over and it was in the shaker um situation um quakers sorry i think it is quakers and shakers i'm not sure um i'll look that up and all the details i'll put in the bottom of this uh link of this video anyway so this is what i've made i just want to show you these and then we'll move on to what we're going to put inside them all right so here's the cover and i've layered the lace let me move that one out of the way because that might be a little bit confusing let me put that down there like that yes and i've layered lace all the way down and i've just put layer upon layer i i did make this separately as you can see and there's still lace these are these are loose this is loose and this is a flower that i had a fluffy flower that i found in my stash i thought would go nicely on there and these are from um off etsy those very similar to what i used on my daughter's wedding dress i might say and i put buttons on both of these flowers here and this is out of rachel's kit the um the welsh kit that we're using and if you notice i bought yesterday i managed to get a welsh ring just for you rach and that was in the market in uh, abergavenny so moving on I put some lace draping down. I have stitched all the way around to keep the lace on and I glued underneath, but it is still loose and drapey. All right, so that's the outside of the shabby chic. This, I've yet to find my little pin to go in there. I have got some pins and I will find them later. And I've layered again inside the different layers of lace. That one is actually, um, stitch down because i didn't want that lifting as i was working on it i have glued this in it was stitched what did i stitch across the top i can't tell i don't know whether i did or not anyways i think i've glued no i think i glued it down this is all glued down because when i'm putting these in which i've made and i'll show you now to go in the pockets they just flip up little notelets or papers that you can use in the journal all right and i put a hole in there and well i put two holes in that and put the ribbon through there all right and these are just covers of music papers and things like that that i've used on there and they go in there like so all right but this is just two pieces of lace that i've bent over and pinned up there which i'll have an old pin on there which i forgot to do not to worry can't remember everything can we anyway so now these two ladies are my great aunts and i this says hen fro fodred bed fodred bed and it means 
great aunts in Welsh. Okay, so I wanted to put those two lovely ladies there and I think they are lovely. And that was my grandfather's sisters. So I wanted to put those in there at the back there. Whether this will that will stay in this journal or whether I'll keep it, I don't know yet. We'll see, we'll see. Now, I've made the um, signature to go in here as well. And I'm trying to move along quickly because I've got such a lot to do. And I'm just showing you different bits of what I'm planning to do in this journal. Uh, just to give a bit of variety and, and to show you the different styles that you can use in the um, journals. I'm not going to open that yet. So that's the shabby, shabby chic. Okay, so I'm going to move along now and show you the vintage. And it's going to be quite different. Um, this is a lovely cover and it says Keffing. And it was foreign. Dramaturgy or something, I think that says. But it is a beautiful cover. You know me, I love my covers. That was made from, yeah, I forgot to say this. I made this from layers of lace material, which you can see just down here. And um, if you want me to show you how I did this, I'll do a, a video. But you'll have to let me know. It was a lot of work, so it'll have to be done in stages. And I've put batting and it did, ha I'll show you at the end, I've got the, all the bits that I've used in this and I'll show you how I layered them at the end, okay? So that was batten in between there, so, and I did sort of partially uh, quilt it. So anyway, this is the um, vintage one. And what I've done there, I've just gutted the book, taken the, the book out and it was falling apart. Um, this is, I've actually photo uh, printed, sorry, Printed this onto some fabric and I've shown you that in the past. So I don't need to show you that. And that this is out of the kit as well, out of the ephemera kit. And what have I got to show you? Oh, yes, here. And this is what I'm planning to put inside this journal. Now, I've got those ready to make to go on there. And I've got those. They're over here. I left them behind. Hang on a sec. And they're going to be made up there. So I've got the pocket at the back there and I'm planning on doing that. And I've got different bits in here that I've done already. And they're quite different, really different, because um, apparently you can have a shabby chic vintage. And I suppose really this, the one I'm doing over here is, is bordering on that because of the dark colours. Um, usually you would do flowery things, which, which I was trying to avoid using because I wanted to use Rachel's kit and sh and show how you can use, you know, the different um, aspects of the kit in two different ways. That's what I'm trying to say. So I did print on vellum there. So that's out of the kit as well. And that's one of the postcards out of the kit. And I've yet, I'm trying to find my postcards on my computer so that I can put that on the back of there. But I, I will, I'll get round to it and and that's what i've done so far so there's not a lot going on in this i've been working so so much on the other one and that one there i put a pocket i've wrapped that round that was a piece of scrap i had and i just wrapped it round put you know um this thing corner punch that's the word corner punch on the edge of there and that's just a journal card and i have stitched that with my lovely stitching on my sewing machine okay so there and we'll make those together in a moment that's what i plan to do in a moment so what i'm going to do now i've done shown you that i'm i'll just bring over my um bring this back onto my screen i think i'm in the middle and i was just about to collage this and i've got all these different bits from the um from the kit Rachel's kit from Raging Bella Crafts and I'm about to collage because I need pockets now for um, the shabby chic and I also need pockets for the vintage and I'm going to show you how I make them quite differently. These are upside down by the look of it. All right, so I'm going to be layering them up like this. You all know how to collage, so I'm not going to show you how to do that on screen. So that's what I'm going to be doing in a moment. And then I'll stop the camera and I'll do that and come back and we'll make the um, pockets together. Okay. 
and also I'm making these little wraparound tags to go on the shabby chic one so I'll show you that when I come back as well so I'm going to break it by there now and I'm going to go off and just collage this and I shall be back very soon okay I'm back and um I'm sorry if I was a bit breathless in the first part but I was a bit nervous but I've settled down a bit now so I hope you've stayed with me um I'm just about to do this in the vintage journal and attach the pockets and these little envelopes which are all in the kit so that's one of the little chaps there now this is the other part I bet I won't be able to put my hand on it yes I can bear with me sorry uh, if you look at the kit they, they go that way and this piece of paper was the other side of this and it went on the other side so it's one sheet that was the one part which I've cut up and I've used also in um, the collage which is now drying behind me which we'll get back to in a moment and I just want to quickly do these with you and put this together and then they can go in the front of the journal uh, I think I'll do the pocket first I hope you're all well and I hope you're all uh, going to really enjoy this collaboration. Rachel has done so much work and um, at one point I was getting a bit worried because she had a most dreadful cold but she's okay now so and so did Shaw her partner as well. He's been really poorly but everybody's on the mend now thankfully. Right, so I thought what I do, these are in the kit as well, and they're on one A4 piece of paper. Let me get that in the middle while I let me check your on camera. Let me move up a bit. Um straighten that up. It's not gonna move. It's gone on, it's gone really gone on really well. So let me move that over there and you can see what I'm doing then. Okay. Um so that's going down there. As I say, that's on an A4 in the kit. Um, and hopefully that's up the right way yes that was the sewing machine there right so then what I was going to do was use this lovely lace which you can never yeah you can really tell actually I was going to say you can never tell but I can tell and that's going on there and that says our family now the other thing I forgot to tell you while I'm doing this is that I've done one in Welsh and one in English and the vintage one is in English and the shabby chic one is in Welsh. All right. So I just thought I would let you know that bit in case you've noticed the difference. Because this one says our family. I'm going to have to lift that up a minute just to get it to the top there. Fairly straight. I don't mind a bit of the paper showing, but I think that looks rather nice. There we go. And where's my scissors? Here they are. It's been a busy couple of weeks. Um, I'm doing this ahead of time because we are um, desperately trying to find a house, which we haven't found yet. And um, I'm doing this a week early, so I'm hoping when this comes out, now that we've managed to find somewhere, because time is running out and houses are short. So just want to tidy that up there. So that's that one done. And if we want to add more, we can. So that's going on there. And I'm, I'm not going to um, stitch any of this in this one. Because some people like stitching and some people don't. So I'm going to leave that one. So let's carry on now and do this side. I've got, got it all ready because I've got lots to do. And um, I'll get rid of that in a minute. And I want you to see everything that I've been up to. But I will be continuing this now um, after the collaboration, after my day goes up. I'll carry on working in the journal and I'll be showing you as I'm going along. I couldn't do it before and that's why I haven't posted any videos. Because um, I've been busy doing this. Where's that going? Is that going there? Could go over just a fraction, I think. Straighten him up. Um, yes, that's why I've been off, uh, away and quiet, because I've been working hard on these two journals, so. But there was a lot to do, actually, a, a real lot to do, because making two journals was a bit ambitious, I think. 
but I've done it, so I'm really pleased. Sorry, I hope my head wasn't in the way then. I would like them straight if I can get them straight. Down a bit, up a bit, down a bit. There we are. Let's hope I've left enough room now for the lace to go on there. I'm not over lacing this because I, I, I want you to see the difference in the two styles. Um, let me just turn that over a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. I mean, you could go on using as much lace as you want to, and I have done in the past, but I'm trying to... The, the thing with the shabby chic, it's meant to flow, apparently. It's it's meant to be um, loose. It's not meant to be... It's meant to be messy, shabby, as I've learned. Um, I'm not very good at being loose. I'm not very good at being terribly shabby. But I'm having a go. I'm out of my comfort zone. So Rachel says I, d I do a lot of shabby already, but I didn't think I did. But hey-ho. Sorry, I'm concentrating now. I don't want to cut the paper. There we go. Just cut that off. I picked up the wrong scissors, I think. There we are. I can go over there a minute now. And then I need a little bit more glue down here, I think. Make sure it stays down. That's it. That's that. And this one, that's going to go on there. And I think it does look very vintage, don't you? So I'm pleased about that. And I will find some words to go on there later. Now what I've done here, I've already made the envelope. So I'll make sure I get it up the correct way. That again is the piece from the, the album page. And I'm going to put that on here like so if I can get that in the middle let's have a go and as I say I'm not going to stitch this because there's such a lot to do in both of them <clears throat> excuse me frog in my throat trying to get it in the center see the border there now it needs to come down just a fraction but there will be a word on there. That's okay. That's fine. That's lovely. That's exactly how I wanted it. Just furnish that off a moment. I think that's lifting. So, And then, aren't they cute? They're adorable, aren't they? Absolutely adorable. It's a fabulous kit. And the thing is, your brain can go off in so many different ways. And I've had to curtail it a bit because there was there were so many ideas coming into my head all at the same time and it was quite um bewildering in the end so i had to you know you know really sort of calm it all down a bit and let's see how that looks there like so that's fine mustn't be too fussy there we go a little bit more on there and then i know it'll stay down fabulous It's amazing, you know, how you can take two different um, designs, styles, and use use them in totally different ways. And I hope that's what I'm trying to show you here. Let me just do this one. I'd just like to say hello to Carol Ann and Cheryl, our two lovely ladies, and also to Kathy. And I hope Kathy's well and Caroline has been poorly as well. So I'm sending love to the three of you today, okay? Because you are wonderful. And I just want to say hello to Rachel's design team, who've been absolutely amazing. And they always producing fabulous things on our Facebook page. And Rachel works really hard to help keep her design team happy it's a lot of work a lot of work and uh, I don't think any of us really realize what these ladies do when they're making these videos and making and doing design teams and things like this because you, you have to um, look after them because you know they do it for nothing they're not doing it for for a wage or something so thank you girls
and gentlemen if you're on a design team thank you too I'm going to leave a little bit of space on this one. I don't think I thought about it on the other one, but I would like um, a little bit of space to put a word here. Uh, I think I've got the words. If you don't, excuse me. Yes, I have. I've got some words here. There's some more of that paper um, in Welsh and in English. That's that's on one of the pages of her kit as well. Now, this is looking really nice, isn't it? Don't you think? And you can um, spruce it up as much as you want. So they're going to go in there like that. I'm not going to glue it in now. I'm just showing you ideas and the difference in styles uh, because I've got something else I want to show you. So that's that. And that's what's going in that one. That's the vintage one. The thing I was going to say to you is this. Shabby chic, they tend to use chalk paint, especially on furniture and things like that. So I was thinking, well, let's have a go. Let's have a try, shall we? And we'll do a little bit of shabby chic painting. And I thought that would be nice and something different. And I'm going to put a little bit of white in there in case that's too pink. And we shall see. Let's see what it looks like. And I'm only going to drag it, you know, like they do on the dresses, dressing tables. They drag the paint along like this. You see, And that's why I put this dark piece on. And these pieces here so that you can see and I'm not going to do it all over I'll just come on there now let me just get that off while it's wet I got my piece of paper and you've got to be quick with this because it's acrylics and it, did I show you what they were um, Royal Lank, Lank, Lank oh, can you see that Crafter's Choice acrylic paints, and this is Rose Pink, uh, Doe Crafts. I've shown you these before, Artiste, and All Purpose Acrylic Paint. All right, just so you know, and I got those from the range. In um, and I'm going to be very careful with this. I don't want too much on this. I'm not going to do it all and I like it when the white and pink show through on the brush so if you mix them but not mix them if you know what I mean you'll end up with two colors coming through or you should do so and make sure you're in shot and as I say it's not going to be completely covered I like it when it's as it is on the palette here, look. I like it when it's like that. It's a dry brush, what we call a dry brush in the painting world technique. And I have missed a bit there, but I'm not going to worry about that because I'll cover that over like that. And if you paint, put your paintbrush going different ways, you'll have a different texture on your page, okay? Put a bit up there so it shows on there a bit, a bit across there. Now I'm going to try and do a very thin dragging there. That's better. That's that's what I was after. Put you back in screen a minute. It's going to look funny now, but I'm hoping it'll be fine once I've cut it up. And it won't take long to dry. Okay. And while that's drying, I shall make, because I want to stamp over this as well. All right, so I'm going to leave that now. I'm not too happy about this bit, so I might go over here with a bit of, bit of white. If you're not happy with something, just go over the top, cover it over. If it's too regular. As I say, go different ways. Be interesting to see how this turns out. I've not done this before, so this is something new for me as well. Now, this is a little bit of um, vellum. So let's see how that takes. Oh, that goes on there nicely, doesn't it? So that was a little bit of vellum on there. And I think I put 
vellum down here that that bit there is a little bit of vellum right so that should be shabby enough i think all right so we'll see how that looks once it's dry it won't take long so i'm just going to leave that over there i'll put my palette down on the floor hopefully not step on it <coughs> sorry and then i shall just finish this off with these what i was playing with here okay and this is for the shabby chic one and they're like little um booklets but they're not they're going to go over the page so what i wanted to do i'm going to go that way so I'm, i need my glue there she is there's a lot going on in this video isn't there i didn't intend it to be this uh busy but there we are hey ho now i could have stitched all this together but i'm not going to because I'm running out of time and I've been putting this video off because it's quite daunting doing a collaboration as you can imagine and I don't do as many videos as um, Rachel does she's doing them every day I don't think that's going to stay on there like that and I've made like a, a flag of this I may have to use um, my fabric glue but I'm just going to show you how this is meant to be and I'm going to go like that I'm going to put that down there like so I'm sure I'm in the middle of this is why I like to use this mat because it tends to keep me on you know in the screen I think that's that way They may or may not stay on. If they don't, I shall just do them again. I'm not going to worry about it. And that's going to go on there like that. Everything's sticking to my fingers. And then that's going to hang down over the page. You get a page. It is going in the shabby chic one, but I'm just showing you, trying to find a page I am. And that's going to go on the edge of the page like that. So that, that's what I'm aiming for. And that's what I'm trying to show you. And I may just stitch down there just to keep those two together. But I have to do the back as well. All right. So that's another one I'm working on there. And this one's going on the back of here. Now I hope you're all having a go with the 100 day let me just cut that bit off because that's really annoying me scissors grab another pair might be sharper there we go isn't it funny we're all different and if you can't cope with something then don't don't worry about it just whether this stays on as i say is another story it does mostly and then that's going on that one okay that will go that side and that will be that side when they dry so i'm just going to put that over there for now and i'll finish this one off and i need another flower i have got some small ones and i got these as well but i don't know we'll see now which way does that go that way so i'm just going to put plenty of glue on there not that much bring that down like that and I was going to put that over the top there like that now you could use buttons but I'm trying to keep the um I'm not going to waste that I'll put that on there um thickness that's the word I'm looking for I'm trying to keep the thickness of the uh the bulk down because it's going to be quite i put my paper somewhere where did i put it i don't know but i'll just do that now my hands are really sticky now wipe it on my skirt never mind doesn't matter it goes in the wash doesn't it okay so that's that one and then i put some lace on there already and that's that's glued down with you who whether or not this will uh go on over the top of there is another story but i have got 
what can I use to put the or maybe I'll put it straight on see there's a little bit coming out I've got my little spatula sometimes this glue works sometimes it doesn't I'm just going to show you briefly and quickly what I'm doing here and I think what we'll do then is put a little bit of this lovely lace to tie it in across the top that's not going to stick is it so let's go back to the yoohoo Sorry, I'm being so messy. But this is how I work. And I just layer everything upon layer. And then we can either, what have I got left? I've only got these small ones or one of those. That might be nice to tie in with the netting. What do you think? There we go. This is turning out to be a very long video, isn't it? Sorry about that. Rachel said, now make it short, Mum. I said, oh, well, all my videos are short, but this one is turning out to be a long video, and I do apologise. But bits you don't want to see, you can always wind on, can't you? So that's those, and they're going to go on the edge of the page, as I say. And I'm really sticky now, so I'm going to let those dry. And they'll be put on and I'll show you in the next video when we catch up tomorrow or the day after, depending on what's going on here. Um, so let's bring back this because it's dry. And what shall I do with it? Shall I cut it up with this? I better move everything off my thing now. And I've got a metal ruler. Now I definitely need pockets, so I'm going to go this way. I think... I think if I cut that down there, let me measure, let me measure these pages a moment. That would be sensible, wouldn't it? And the thing is, you've got to remember, now this is the vintage one. So, I've got black glue stuck all over my fingers, so I'm sorry. Um, that's 11 and a half almost. So if I stay at 10... So that's going to be 20. So that's 20 there. And I've got a pencil, excuse me. Roughly about there. So if I go up there like that and use my rotary. Now, it may or may not work, work, and I'm sitting down. It's always hard to do it when you're sitting down. I'm not sure that's working. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. I've got a lot of layers on there, so let's peel those off a minute. Well, there you are. You've learned something now. Don't use that. We're going to have to go with the big guns, aren't we? So let's bring this over, which I was trying to avoid, but we may as well do it with this to start with. Let me put line that up there, probably quicker as well. Look at that. Should have done that in the first place. Now I'm going to have to straighten that up now. Excuse me a moment. Oh, it's so easy with this, isn't it? It's a fabulous cutter. Absolutely fabulous. Now, how do, deep do we want them? Because they are quite... Let me level that one up in case I forget. There we are. That's great. And then you can see if any bits are lifting, then you can do that as you go along. So let me measure... The height that we want them which isn't going to be very much really is it when you think about it so I'm going to get quite a few 
probably too many really so i would say roughly about there i would say so if i cut that do you want me to tell you what that is in inches three inches look yeah three inches that's about the average size that i use these are looking great aren't they the thing I'm, I was just thinking what I was supposed to be doing, I was going to do um, some stamping, but I think I'll do the stamping afterwards. Now that doesn't look very tidy there, so I'm going to bring the big shot, the big game, uh, cutter up, tidy that up. That's better, much better, because that was annoying me. And if you don't do things when you think of it, you, you will forget. So... There's my point there. So if I put that on there, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And I'm using these lines on here to line this up now. Okay. I'm teaching you all how to suck eggs now, I know. Now, nothing is going to look level because the papers are all piddledy-piddledy, if you know what I mean. So... Let's see. That's 20 and a half, so that's going to be 10 and a quarter. Am I right? About there, I would say. It doesn't matter. Give or take. Oops, sorry. This is why I didn't want to use this. It's so big. Let me line that up on that best I can. There we are, those two little pockets. Don't worry, I'm not going to make them all. I'm just going to show you what you can do to make them look shabby. Um, my round, what I tend to do with pockets sometimes, let's use the 7mm. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. That's why I tend to use the bigger one. See what I mean? Now that doesn't work, so I'm going to have to... Don't ask me why that is. And that needs trim in there. Do you find that sometimes? You get this little edge on there, and it's because they're not quite straight. There we go. That's better. So if you find that, it, it doesn't come out straight, or you've got a little bit on there, just trim the edge of it. Right, that's that one. Make sure I get this up the right way. These journals, especially the shabby chic ones, are a lot of work. A lot of work. So, now I've just seen these. These are lovely. I mean, that would be lovely on there, that way, but it's the wrong way. So I'm looking around me now to find my little bits and pieces. You won't believe I've got so much stuff on my desk. It's absolutely crazy. But I have enjoyed it. It's been absolutely wonderful. They could go on there. They're, as I say, this is what I cut up from the A4 page of the family. That could go on there like that. We could even... I did leave some netting out. This is what I plan to do. But of course, I need to um, either sew it down either sew it down or glue it down and I did think about doing that as well so I'm just going to show you ideas I'm not going to actually do it but I'm just going to show you some ideas of what you can do with the pockets now if you're making a larger one it's not going to be a problem but I'm using very small pieces of um, card because my journals are not really big I've got that one there which is lovely now you could either do ruffles which is what I'll be doing on the pages. You can either make ruffles with it like that and make little skirts. And do skirts come hanging down. Do you know what I mean? Because it's meant to flow. Everything is meant to flow out of and then say, what did I do with the other one? It's gone. Here it is. 
and then that could go up the top of there like that and then you can make your little skirt and have everything flowing off it it doesn't necessarily have to have a picture on it we're trying to make or create shabbiness all right so that's just an idea there if you want things to hang down at the bottom of your page which is what i will do and i will show you at the end so i'm going to go away now and just bring it all together and i shall be back soon well i'm back for the end of the video and uh if you've come this far then thank you for staying with me um i've been working all afternoon on this and i'll just show you where i've got to so just to finish this collaboration video and i hope you've enjoyed it so as I was saying before, this is the shabby chic and this is the vintage. So this is what I've done in here so far. I did find my pin. I just managed to find a pin. Let me put that one over there. I haven't sewn in my um, signature on purpose because I want to work on this and I want to stitch lace up and down the edges okay so that's why she's not stitched in yet so that's I put some lace on there and I just put this um, this is actually wallpaper like this Actu actual wallpaper that I bought off Etsy and this is Rachel's freebie that she did uh, this week a um, couple of weeks ago now when you're watching this video and I've just cut out these off the A4 sheet that she she gave us a freebie so I've done that these are going that's going on there I've laid those up I haven't glued uh, glued anything down in case I change my mind but as I say I will be continuing with this that's the sheet I'm talking about let me take it out a second that's the freebie all right and I'll show you what I did with that in a moment and I just remembered I haven't glued these on either because they're going in in this one so that's that's still got to be done yet okay and there are my um great aunts there now that's the sheet <coughs> excuse me i'm so sorry uh that's the sheet i was telling you about i've made it smaller to go into this um journal obviously but that's the family okay and that's gone in there there's the family there and that's the middle of the signature and it'll be going like this and i don't know yes i did this I've, I've just made this belly band with the um i meant to show you i've got so much to show you but i'm gonna have to show you the rest tomorrow and these are what i've cut up ready to make uh, tags with and that there I've been practicing on that with the paint and I have done some, <coughs> excuse me, some um, stamping, all right, which I've done on this one. So that, that's that and that's, that's this paper here on the back. Okay, so I've just layered that up and I have stitched that. I don't know whether you can see it. I don't know whether I can lift it up and it is stitched there with the sewing machine down there with this lovely stitch that I've got on here, look. So that's on there safely. And I think that's all I've done in here. So I've just got, um, well, that's the other one, I showed you that. Yeah, that's, oh, and I did do this. This is, uh, let me get that one out of here a moment and I can show you. And that goes in there like so. In fact, I might make another one because I have got another one, this one here. And I'll do the same. I'll make, because that's how that one started out, like that. And that's the ones I've been painting. All right. And that's wallpaper that I had off of Etsy. And that's as far as I've got with that one. Okay. It does look nice on the back of there, doesn't it? And I'm not going to make them all the same size. I'm just going to leave it because I'm going to have lace coming out there anyway. So they're yet to go in. All right, so that's going to be in the future videos. And this one, the um, vintage one, I have put the, uh, I have actually stuck those in because I was quite happy to do that in, in the, uh, on the cover. 
All right, so they're all done. I haven't found a word yet for that, but I will. And that's that. And they're all safely tucked in there now. So that's done. I haven't stitched this one in yet either because I'm being busy um, putting things in. As I said before, I did do another belly band and I can't find it now. Um, it's here somewhere. Probably at the back. Maybe I didn't stick it in. I thought I did. I'm pretty sure I did, but I don't know where it is now. So maybe it's in the back of this one. Playing tricks on me. Oh, there she is. She she rolled over. There we go, because they're going like that and that. And I tell you what I used on this. Forgive my fumbling, please. Um, this is a... a European, I was trying to think of the word then, European stamp and Roxy Creations was using hers and I went straight on to, this is ages ago now, onto Amazon and that's how it punches out. All right, so that's what I've done there and that will go on there and then another one of those will go in here like so. All right, so that's brought me up to date and there was quite a lot in that video and I do apologise but I was on a roll and I just kept going so... There we are. I shall leave it there now and let you go watch all the other lovely crafters. Thank you for staying with me if you did. And God bless you and take care and look after yourselves. Bye.